Katika kisa hicho watu hao wanaoshukiwa kuwa wanachama wa kundi la kigaidi la Al Shabab wameteka nyara gari hilo la wagonjwa la hospitali ya kaunti ndogo ya Lafe kaunti ya Mandera nchini Kenya huku wakiwateka wa hudumu wa afya dereva wa gari hilo na mgonjwa aliyekuwemo vikosi vya usalama tayari vimaanza msako wa wanamgambo hao wanaosemekana kuingia mafichoni mara baada ya tukio hilo na katika kusaidia kuleta amani nchini DRC, Rais William Ruto hii leo ameongoza hafla ya kukituma kikosi cha jeshi la ulinzi ya Kenya KDF kitakachojiunga na vikosi vya kanda wanajeshi wa Kenya ambao watakuwa chini ya DRC kama sehemu ya kikosi cha Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki watasaidia juhudi za jeshi la Kongo kuzima ghasia katika eneo hilo baadhi ya wanajeshi wa Kenya tayari wameweka mifumo ya usaidizi wa bifan chini DRC Kongo tangu Septemba na tayari kwa operesheni zinazopangwa dhidi ya waasi akizungumza wakati wa hafla hiyo mkuu wa majeshi generali Robert Kiboshi amewataka wanajeshi kuwajibika na kuhakikisha amani inadumishwa nchini humo this contingent is structured at battle group level and has been prepared well trained and equipped appropriately for the attainment of the EAC mandate within the ES, EAC regional force na rais William Ruto amesema wanajeshi hawa pamoja na wengine wa mataifa ya Afrika Mashariki watakabiliana na wahalifu wanaotatiza usalama eneo hilo. Rais anasema uamuzi huu uliafikiwa baada ya mashauriano ya kina na wakuu tofauti akiwemo mkuu wa shirika la umoja wa mataifa. Together with our brother the president of DRC we have agreed on the framework under which Kenya is going to work with the DRC forces for the purposes of disarmament for the purposes of ensuring that civilians are protected and for giving a real chance to the people of DRC to work with their brothers and sisters DRC Congo imekuwa ikishtumu Rwanda kwa kuunga mkono kundi la M23 nayo Kigali imekuwa ikikanusha shutuma hizo kutoka Nairobi ni Dennis Chisaka wa EATV